It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And here is my penciled piece that I did a uh, couple of weeks ago for my faux Afterlife with Archie cover. And this one is just full of lots of people. I finished the pencils. Uh, so tonight I thought I would give it some inks. So, and of course, I'm going to, so I want to start, since I'm, I'm right-handed, I want to start upper left to lower right. So I'm going to start up here. I may leave the logo and things uh, for later because that isn't all that interesting. It's basically just tracing what I what I put down. I will show you like that that little moon thing. I'm gonna go in with my circle template and I will line up my moon, the circle, the right size that I wanted, and I will trace it using my small pit pen and uh that's it for the moon and what i may do later is go in with my extra small pen which has a very very fine point and i'm gonna go in and i'll do the little craters i'm not gonna follow those too religiously i'm gonna i'm gonna follow those loosely as i go and and I decided I'll, I'm going to take this all the way, probably make a print out of it. I haven't made a lot of new prints because, well, of course, we're not going to um, we're not going to a lot of conventions lately. So, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to move prints right now, but uh, eventually we'll get out there. And I, I do need to I do need to uh, refresh my website. So I may throw some new prints, some new artwork on there. So if, if nothing else, I could I could post prints there. And of course, there are prints on my website, FernandoRuizEverybody.com. Um, so if, if, you, if you're interested in any that are up there, check it out. And um, just reach out to me. Just get a hold of me and let me know what prints you want. And I'll be happy to uh, take your money and send them out to you. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna dig deep into the characters themselves. Now, since I'm dealing with the characters in the in the background, I want to keep my lines fairly thin. I'm breaking out the the brush pen to uh, do this. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on Mr. Lodge back here, and he's got his glasses, which are probably the thickest thing on him. Uh, but the rest of them I'm going to want to keep fairly fairly thin. So I'm, I'm really just like grazing the page with, with my pen here. Just to keep the, the thinnest line. And his hair, which is white, very light hair. I'm just really, really just grazing the paper with the very tips of the hairs on the brush pen just to get a little ink on them and get the, the, the outline there. In fact, if I want to get even thinner or if I mess anything up, I could go in with my extra small pen and just touch it up. If I do want to add like a slight thickness to any one of these lines, I could just punch it up that way. Little details like his, his zombied eyes and all the the wrinkles and, and rot around the eye, I could just add in with this too, to keep nice and fine. So things like all the all the cover dress, I'm gonna add later with um, with uh, pens, just to keep that fairly precise. It doesn't have to be super precise because the the actual logo has some distress. To it, which makes it kind of appropriate to the the whole or horror s aesthetic, the horror zombie look of it. Okay, so as I'm doing this, uh, in a recent video, I started talking about the 
my experiences on life, the Life with Archie magazine, where Archie's an adult, and uh, they they featured two separate timelines in the one magazine, where Arch in one timeline Archie's married to Veronica, in the other timeline he's married to Betty, um, and uh, I drew the half of the book where he was married to Veronica. And I talked in, in that last video, and I'll link to that one in the in the uh, description below, just so you can get to it. Um, so you can find it even more easily. Uh, I talked about how I, I started replacing Norm Breifogel with issue number 12. Now, one of the, the important milestones of the book, of course, one of the things the book is remembered mostly for is the death of Archie. And that's something a lot of people have been um, have been wanting me to talk about. So I'm gonna talk about that. Maybe maybe I'll finish it in this in this video. But if not, we could keep talking about it in, in another video. So I took over with issue twelve, and and the book the book went along uh, for a little, for a little while. It was a, a little bit of a of a big deal. You know, we did some things like the the first um, the first gay marriage in comics with the wedding of Kevin Keller. Um, in fact, I even got uh, boycotted by the Million Moms uh, because that that was a book that was being sold in Toys R Us, and the the Million Moms objected, so they boycotted us, and uh, it actually got the book even more attention than it probably would have. And uh, it made the book sell out even more. So, thanks, Million Moms. You could you could boycott me anytime. Um, so the book got some attention, but eventually the book started to cool off, and and certainly uh, the diminishing interest in the book around the office was was. Uh, I mean, you could you could taste it. You could feel it in the air that. You know, the, this book was around and nobody knew what to do with it. And, um, you know, it, it, it was a weird, it was a weird product because uh, it was a magazine. It was not Archie's regular thing. It, it wasn't, you know, comic shops didn't know what to do with it because it was a magazine. And since they couldn't put it out with their regular comics, um, it just wouldn't do as well for them. Um so it was just kind of an odd duck of a product, uh, but it, it did have its loyal following. It did have people who, who were really, really loyal to it. Um, so it, it, it did keep going, uh, but, you know, it, it, it still cooled off some. Uh, we got to that point where uh, at first they they... Uh, cut back the number of pages. I believe we, we were at 22 pages for each half of the book. And that came down to uh, 20, which doesn't sound like a lot. But, you know, you got to remember, we're, we're paid by the page. Uh, those of the, us artists, us freelancers, we're paid per page. So it, it does cut in. Um, fortunately, in my case, I was doing the, the frontis pieces uh, the covers, so, you know, it didn't hurt me as much as, say, the, the Kennedys, the Kennedy brothers who drew the other half of the book. But, you know, two pages is two pages. Um, then, the the other the other big sign of the apocalypse, the book went to, um, went to uh, a bi-monthly, uh, a bi-monthly schedule, which meant it was going to be coming out every other month. That is usually a horrible sign. Um, I think in, in all my years, I've only seen one book come back from a diminished schedule, and that was Betty and Veronica Spectacular. And in that case, I think it went from like, it was trimmed down to quarterly, and then it actually did get bumped up to, uh, to a six-month uh, or six times a year status. Um, but that, I, I, that's the only time I ever saw that go down. Typically, once a book goes to a bi-monthly schedule, 
that's the first stop on the way to oblivion. That's the first stop, uh, you know, to cancellation. So once I heard that they were coming, cutting the book down to six times a year, I, I, I figured the end was near. Now, the day came late in the game. Um, I remember Dan Parent and I were out at a, um, we were asked to do uh, a signing at a Barnes and Noble in, I think it was a Barnes and Noble in um, Westchester County, New York, which is where uh, Archie is headquartered. Their, their offices are in Westchester County. So we were doing a local um, uh, a signing at a, at a local Barnes and Noble to them. Actually, I think it was in White Plains, so it was a little further away. Anyway, um, after the signing, we went out to eat with one of the one of the guys at Archie, and I, I won't I won't out him, so I, I'm not going to mention his name. But he was one of the staffers. He was one of the guys in charge of of publicity, and he starts talking about the death of Archie. And the thing was, is he was talking about it as if we knew that it was going down. Uh, it had apparently been decided and planned into the book, but nobody, uh, and, and certainly Dan, he wasn't involved with the Life with Archie book, but I sure wasn't. So to me, it was, um, it was a big surprise. Um, and the, the staffer, he, he just seemed kind of taken aback that I didn't know what he was talking about because he would have assumed that you know I would have been told but by this point communication at Archie was horrible they with me especially and and I'm a guy who was in the office every week but they they never told anybody what was going down everything was was either a secret or just not communicated um so I, I had no idea now, the interesting thing is, you know, this staffer went on to explain to me, you know, he figured, hey, why not let me in on, on what's happening in my own book? But he explained to me the plan as it existed at the moment. And the plan was, interestingly enough, was to for Archie to die in one of the universes, one of the two universes featured in the book. Um, so in one half of the book, he was going to die and the book would continue, but it would continue with one of the features being life without Archie, where Archie was dead and we just see all of his friends, the whole Riverdale gang, just coping, moving on without Archie. And I was honestly interested in that, um, I was really interested in seeing how that would go because, well, number one of all the ongoing plots in in my half of the book, um, Archie's story was probably the dullest. So I, I, I wasn't going to miss him if he was killed. Uh, but number two, it would have been a big deal. And uh, if it was happening in my half of the book, I, I certainly would have gotten some attention out of it. So, you know, I, I was hoping it would... Um, it would happen. Um, but that was not the way it would be. I'm going to jump down here to Archie really quick because he's in, in the foreground. And he's going to get a really thick line because I really want him to pop. So I'm going in with the thick line. So... I, oper I, I kept on operating under the belief that, you know, that was going to be the plan. But that would not be the plan. So I will continue the story of the last days at Archie in my next video, which is coming up very soon. So tune in for that. I hope you guys dig this. And uh, let me know. If you like my stories, let me know in the comments below, and I'm happy to share them. All right, everybody. See you next time. Click like, subscribe, all the rest. Bye-bye.